Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Cropper here. You probably know something about De Beers Diamonds. It is a privately held company founded in 1888 by Cecil Rhodes. De Beers is headquartered in Johannesburg, South Africa. Wikipedia says that it currently produces about 40% of the world's diamonds, although it used to produce much higher percentage of the world's diamonds. Uh, there's a diamond mine that opened in Australia in the 1980s and some other factors have come into play uh, and the reason for that is because De Beers keeps the price so high by restricting sale. People allege, probably conspiracy theorists mostly, allege that there is an oversupply of diamonds and that De Beers simply has massive warehouses full of diamonds. Now they do have warehouses full of diamonds, I've seen video footage of it. You can, they have National Geographic's done specials on it and stuff. Uh, but they're uncut diamonds. The cost in diamonds is usually in cutting them. So what are all these shenanigans for? Why is jewelry uh, the center of so much attention here? Well, actually diamonds have other uses besides just jewelry. Uh, if jewelry were the only use, then people would just use opal or whatever else. But there are things that you need diamonds for. There are uses for which no other substance will do. In fact, the high value of diamonds derives from diamonds' specialized capabilities. Now, the high value of gold also derives from gold's specialized capabilities. You know, gold doesn't tarnish, it doesn't react. It's a it's a chemically inert substance, so a gold coin on the, on the floor of the ocean for a thousand years won't tarnish or anything. You pick it up, wipe it off, and there it is, it's gold. That's different from something like iron or bronze or, you know, whatever else that disintegrates and disappears. Gold is valuable as money, not because everyone has gone off their rocker and decided that yellow stuff looks neat and they want it, but because it is actually, in the long term, a very valuable mode of storing uh, wealth because of its objective nature. Now, the same is true of diamonds. Tchaikovsky just goes louder, quieter, and louder, and quieter. Uh, the same is true with diamonds. Diamonds have a value because of their irreplaceable use. Namely, they are the hardest substance known to men. Is there a harder one? Some specialist in, uh, uh, in science out there is going to know that there's a harder substance, beryllium, ceramic, or something like that. I don't think so, though. Uh, diamonds are used on drill bits, for example. Uh, diamonds are used on grindstones to, to shape other things. The only thing to, that is hard enough to shape a diamond is another diamond. The people who cut diamonds, historically, it was Jews. I think that's the root to the idea that it's jewelry. But anyways, the people who cut the diamonds have to use one diamond against another. The diamond is used to cut the other diamond because there's no other substance available hard enough to cut and shape the diamond except another diamond. So you cut two stones at once, basically, the way they do it. Uh, diamond is that hard. So if you're going to drill, for example, you want to explore. You need knowledge about the inner importance of a subject, the earth, let's say. Or, let's say, a mountain. You want to know what's beneath this lake bed. You need to know what's off the continental shelf. You need to know what's up in northern Alaska. So you're going to drill, and you're pretty sure that beneath this layer of hard granite rock uh, is other stuff. The granite's going to end somewhere, and your beryllium-tipped drill, your titanium drill, um, and uh, heat-assisted dynamite, whatever fanciness you can come up with, can't get you through this goddamn granite. You're going to have to get uh, a diamond drill. Diamond tip drill or is the uh, hardest drill that you can get. There's no other way for you to get into these subjects sometimes besides a diamond bit drill. So uh, De Beers has 
uh, sort of like a supply of gold, you know, this intarnishable sub uh, object. It's also got a supply of a absolutely valuable uh, industrial commodity, the hardest substance known to man. And where does that have uses in industry? Many places, sir. Now, like De Beers, I have infrastructure costs. De Beers opens these mines and they have massive dump trucks uh, carrying 200 tons of soil at once to processing plants that then sort it all out, crush the rock down to certain size and so on. They get the diamonds out and they have huge plants and uh, trucks and employees and men. My infrastructure is mostly books, but uh, I also have a new mouth to feed. Voracious appetite needs diapers every hour or so. Uh, and I'm going to actually start charging one dollar per video for my academic videos. I think that uh, I've got a monopoly here, and I think that you need the diamond uh, tip drill to get to the core of some of the substances I've been looking at. Uh, the ones that are out there are out there for free. I have a continuation. I've stopped at number 50 on my capitalism series, and I've another 10 or perhaps 15 videos ready to upload and we have a series on Lincoln. I'll be uploading the first video of that to give you a taste of what that's going to be about. We also have the continuation and finishing of the Benjamin Franklin series. Uh, also coming up the Crusades and possibly in the wing Ancient Engineering. So for one dollar you'll get one video in my academic video series. Uh, I'll just post whatever little one or two videos at a time or whatever, um, you know, whether or not I get any donations. But I'm not going to be adding to my intellectual series, uh, nor will I be starting any new ones without donations. A dollar a piece, I think, is um, fair. Uh, hopefully I won't drive anyone else into the diamond business with a price that low. We'll see what happens though. You know, De Beers, we could argue, is actually the beneficiary of the opening of the diamond mine in Australia and the coming of diamond mines in China and Russia. They are beneficiary because uh, just society as a whole has become more productive with diamonds becoming cheaper and more available for all of the general uses. So De Beers, in an indirect way, does benefit by having their monopoly broken. Um, as it is, I've got a monopoly on Mr. Cropper videos. So the only thing competing with me is beryllium uh, and titanium drill bits. So those of you who aren't aware, you can go to CropperLyceum.com. Just click on the Contribute or Donate button, and uh, there you are. Cropper on Demand. It's a bit of a nuisance when I upload 10 or 15 or 20 videos in a day. Sometimes I do that. Um, but if, if uh, you want 10 or 15 or 20 videos, I will flood the market.